Undaunted by a poor showing in the local elections, Jeremy Corbyn today claimed that Labour could do well in the European elections, not by taking sides for or anti-Brexit, but by taking on the new Brexit party. Nigel Farage's Brexit is a Brexit for conspiracy theorists, for those who see Muslims and migrants or George Soros as their enemy. Only Labour can see off the Farage snake oil in this election. He argued that leave and remain were old labels, dismissing the idea that confusion over Labour's policy could cost the party votes. Why should voters bother to turn out uh, if they don't really know whether you're in favour of leaving the EU or remaining in it? I don't think it's confusing at all. I think it is a sensible message saying we understand what's happened, we've seen what's happened, we've seen the causes of what's happened, and we're putting forward a view that would ensure we have the opportunity of improving the social divisions within our society. By coming to Chatham, a Leave-supporting area, Jeremy Corbyn was clearly signalling that under him Labour won't try to thwart Brexit. But that's precisely what many of his MPs and large numbers of Labour voters actually want. Andy Whitehall, visiting the dockyard today, has always voted Labour and thinks Jeremy Corbyn should now clearly back Remain. There's an awful lot of votes going to be going to the other stay parties. Um, and I think that the Labour Party needs to wake up and smell the coffee and actually think about where they want to be seen. Do they want to be seen as stayers or do they want to be seen as leavers? Do you think of them as a Brexit supporting party or do you think they're more in favour of Remain? I think they seem to be saying one thing and then saying the opposite. So again, I don't know. I'm, I'm too confused really to give an opinion. Do you know which way you're going to vote oh, yet? vote Brexit. For the Brexit party? party yes, certainly. It's something we don't agree on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, you think uh, Nigel Farage is uh, the man who's got uh, got it right. Yes. No. <laughs> it's not just Jeremy Corbyn then who thinks that Farage is the man to beat. Libby Thanks, Vina, guys. News at okay. 10, Chatham.